most of the time you're drawing, you won't have a layer you need or want to use. That happens. To eliminate this issue, I recommend that you start every new drawing with a template file. That'll have most of your common layers already in it that you're going to use. Just maintain that template file, keep it up to date, and when you develop or make new layers, make sure you include it in there, especially if it's one you feel that you're going to use often. But regardless of how you started your file, you're still going to need to make a new layer from time to time. That process is actually quite simple. Open up the layer manager, type in LA on the command line, that's the easiest way to do it, or just leave it open all the time. If you have more than one screen, which is the way I do my work every day, I have multiple screens, I keep my layer manager open all the time, I never close it. That's how often you're going to be working in your layer manager. If nothing else, it helps to make something current. I can just scroll through my list, double click, and there you go. So that one's current. But to make a new layer, it's actually quite simple. The easiest way is to start with a layer that has the most objects or settings in common with what you want to do. Just click on this icon right here to make a new layer or press Alt plus N. We'll give it a name called Layer 1. If you already have a Layer 1, it'll call it Layer 2. If you have a Layer 2, it'll call it Layer 3, etc. Now you can see that it copied all the settings from my Windows layer. Very simple. And that's great. Now, a lot of your layers are going to have the exact same settings. That's okay. You don't have to change them. Just do what you need to do. That's done, you know, having different layers with the exact same settings on it because they're going to be used to organize different types of objects. So, this is called Windows. Maybe my new layer is called Windows dash Bay because we're going to put in some bay windows and we want them on their own layer. But we want them to print the same, with the same color, the same continuous line type, the same line weight, same transparency, etc. That's going to happen all the time. In fact, you're going to use a lot of the same line weights. The colors will typically just be used to help you differentiate visually what the objects are on your screen. You can also print directly to those colors, but most of the time you're probably just going to print to the color black, and that's okay too. When you create your new layer, you can do it however you need to. If it's selected in here, you know, taking over some of these settings, or you can just create one and then change everything all that you want. It's very easy to make a new layer. And to edit them, it's just as easy. So once you've created it, you can click on the color, change it to green, or whatever color you want, change it to a different line type, different thickness, click OK. Editing a layer is very easy. And you can edit multiple layers at the same time. If you hold down the control button, you can click on as many layers as you want. Or if you click on one, hold down the shift key, and it will pick every layer between the two layers that you selected. Once they're all selected, you can make the changes to all of them at the same time and it will apply your change to all of those layers. There you go. Just pick one layer again. And remember, when you're picking the layers, pick them over here in the name or in the status. Otherwise, if I pick over here, it's going to open up my color change, and that's what it's going to want. If you only need to edit the color of one layer, then that's fine. Click it, change the color, and there you go. That's a quick way, and it reduces or eliminates one step of picking, picking again, picking, picking, or I can just go one click, two click, three click. So it's going to take off one or two clicks. But that's all you have to do to create a new layer or to edit a layer.